Hey, so here is how I would play the uh, second guitar part for Who You Say I Am by Hillsong in F sharp. Uh, we'll capo second fret, we'll play around E shapes because that's how you make an F sharp with a capo. And uh, so there's a bunch of parts to divvy up in this song. Um, what I feel like makes the most sense would be um, to have um, you kind of play this, uh, that kind of octave line that happens at the beginning of the song and so that line happens around an E shape um, specifically the top two notes of an E shape mostly and then you use your other fingers so I would uh, I would fret the E um, I don't know how you fret an E I would fret the top two notes of the E on the uh, D and G strings like this that'll let you use your other two fingers to move around and change bass notes um, as the riff demands so anyway so that one starts right here and you come in right at the beginning Middle position works pretty well. We'll add an octave up and some reverb. Um, but uh, for now, just in terms of playing the part, like you kind of bounce back and forth on these two strings. And I'll play it slow so you kind of know what you're doing. You have two options too. You can either kind of, the, the low note is the same there and at the bottom. And so you can kind of choose and I'll play it both ways and you can see which one uh, sounds better to you but um, in any case this is kind of what you would do if we didn't use the uh, low E string it would sound something like this So you can kind of see what that's like. If you add the low E string, it would be... Uh... So you see the riff is the same in the back half, uh, regardless of whether or not you use that string. But um, again, uh, if you add an octave up pedal and add a little bit of reverb. Um, it's sorta, of, there. you could do delay. Um, you could do like an eighth note, de an eighth note delay, which I like on the, uh, the lower strings, but I don't like when you hit that, that highest note, the one that sticks out the most in the recording. I don't feel like it's really there. So I just leave it off, but uh, do what you will. So that part with the effects would be more like. With the the lower note, if instead, if you want. So I kind of bounced around there, but um, anyway, that's kind of the part that you would play. And then uh, as the chorus comes in, um, you could switch and kind of turn off your octave and move up to higher strings and play the part, but um, dynamically, I would kind of rather it comes down there. So I would just say, hit the low E and bow out. So at the end, you would just kind of be like. And you can probably either let that ring out over the first chorus or whatever. Second chorus, you're playing the same thing. And then once you move to, um, I'm sorry, second verse, you're playing the same thing. Once you move to the first chorus, um, we're just playing a uh, real basic, you'll switch to your bridge pickup, um, kind of first stage overdrive, possibly a second stage, depending on how it feels. But you just switch to um, some just basic E-shape chords um, that you'll chunk along with. So that would just be... That's really all you do. Uh, the only thing I add, um, maybe like a light dotted and some light reverb.
something in that neighborhood would be pretty good. Um, you'll notice I, I did the, uh, the six a little bit different. You could do that six or this six, whichever sounds better. It's not uh, hugely important to the rhythm of the song. So one of those two, um, and then that's really it for the chorus, and then your only other part is um, you'll go up a drive level at some point in the song, um, maybe at the bridge the first time, certainly after the bridge. Um, but you will, uh, the only other time that you have parts are in the bridge, the only other chords you have where you'll move from, um, you'll move from a six chord, which is um, this one we played before. And then you'll move to kind of a seven, which is that guy. And then to the one and to the four. Um, alternately, if you fret the six chord the other way that I was playing earlier, you could uh, leave your pinky and play the seven like this. If you'd rather. Uh, either way is fine. Um, but you're just kind of chunking along on that same delay and reverb settings. So it'd be, I'll play it both ways. So you heard I changed drive levels and kind of varied how the, the six and the five chords were being played through there. But um, the only other thing to note is that you'll probably go back down a drive level at some point um, to uh, just play the diamonds uh, when the bridge comes back in after the first time, um, when it kind of, after the instrumental at some point, after a few passes, you'll come back in with just your bridge diamond. <laughs> that kind of thing, and then you'll just increase intensity as the song goes on. So um, that's pretty much it. So I'll play along for you, and then uh, that'll be that. So here we go. I forgot to say. Um, what I'll do uh, on the playthrough is I will play, I forgot this, um, what I'll do on the run through on the playthrough is I'll play through uh, without using the low E the first time for verse one and then I'll add the low E for verse two just so you can hear the difference. So sorry about that. Here we go. Second time. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Who am I that the highest king would welcome me? I was lost, but he brought me all his love for Tag all his love for Chorus.
Mental. Instrumental. Bridge. Continue to build. So anyway, there you go. That should be all you need to play that part. See you, bye.